room did, we did share a copy and and it's like a some of my pictures I have lots of copies in uh, my office I have several of them I pass them out like candy to anybody who is interested in this project but yes uh, they have I have shared the master plan uh, with Heartland they are familiar and have done some I think back in 2006 they did some preliminary plans for themselves so they're familiar with this project but they will use uh, some of those things and they can expedite it I don't know if Chris talked about that but time wise we don't have to go out to bid to a contractor they design it, they also will build it, and that is what Heartland does. I know you weren't at the presentation, but they show different sites that they have designed, and that's what they do. They only do a playground and parks as such as this. Okay. And then committing to you know, reducing the night on the implementation plan, implementation plan with Heartland. Um, I mean, we're not tying ourselves to any dollar amount. We have, I mean, this, they haven't come out and said, you know, we're building your park that's five million. They're basically going to come out and design with the information that we give them, what the community's needs and wants, and then basically come up with the design and give us a move forward from there, correct? Uh, yes, sir. I followed up with them uh, via email and let them know that um, the council's considering it um, and that they would look and see what the different ones, but they asked for like some type of time, what like, kind of dollar amount we could look at and I gave them about 2.5. What can I get for 2.5? Knowing what our goals are and I think they believe, they mentioned that it needs to be more than the baseball fields if we're going to go after the grant for uh, Texas Wildlife that they're familiar with and so they mentioned walking path and those kind of things and so they're following the, the basic design that MNS has provided to EDC as well as the City Council. So we should be able to get a design in a timely fashion. So in, uh, aside from the timely fashion, I mean, just from a cost standpoint, I mean, we seem to, I mean, of course we don't know until they come up with their design, but get more for a dollar, you know, going with a company like Heartland who designed their own playground equipment versus, I mean, doing the design build versus going through an engineer and then going through the process of going out for bid. Correct. And, and so that's part of what they are able to do by bringing it on house. And I think Mr. Spencer had said, uh, their baseball fields run from $150,000 to $215,000 with the upper end with all the bells and whistles being two fifteen, dollars which I think Mr. Turk at the presentation had said they were around about $400,000 yeah, for their 000. estimate. So by bringing it all in and, and being very specialized, they're able to streamline that. As far as design cost, we've been through this before. Heartland doesn't, doesn't charge us anything for design. It's only if we accept it and we bring them on to build it that then we pay the engineering fees and everything like that as part of the project. So. Any other questions? Council? All right. Mr. Pihon? I'd like to make a motion that we proceed with a design and build with a Texas Life Board vendor for the design, construction, and implement, implementation plan for the proposed community park. Is that? And actually, okay. uh, I think the FEDC has called it an amateur sports park. Do we put that in the? You, you can put that in for nomenclature reasons. Uh, in the, the motion, we can have a parenthetical amateur sports park for just continuity across all the entities. Okay. Okay. It's been added. I have a second. I second. I have a motion and a second. Citizen comments? There are no comments. All right, we'll go on and vote. All those in favor? Opposed? 4-0. 4-0. Motion carries. All right, we'll go on to the next item and um, are you going to cancel that one? No. Sorry. <laughs> is it the next one, we've done H. The next one we're going to is the CNA to accept the resignation of Johnny Ray, Councilman Johnny Ray Nieto, City Council, place number three. We have a letter. Yes. I don't plan on this being my farewell speech. Uh, I plan on holding my position, keeping the holdover until someone is elected in my position. Uh, the reason I chose this time was to give a future candidate enough time to decide if he wants to uh, take council, councilman, city council place three. Uh, my family and I, we have moved to San Antonio, so we've uh, relocated. I no longer live in the city of Floresville. Uh, I will continue to work in Floresville at Encero Ford, 
Uh, but at this time, with the decisions we made with our family relocating, I won't be able to fulfill my term as a uh, city council member. Okay. Uh, Mr. Huck, do we need to read the letter, the resignation letter, or is that accepted? No, the resignation letter is just the formal for the files to have in there. If Councilman Yeto would like to, he can. If not, the, the little bit that he gives is enough to introduce it. All right. Well, then, um, we need a motion. CNA to accept the, the resignation of Johnny Ray Yeto. For City Council, place number three. I will point out you all can't refuse to let him go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We'll get the bailiff to hold I don't think anyone's going to make a motion for this, but what I'm afraid of. But obviously, he can't say this because he's been moved out of town already. Yes. <laughs> he can't I'll, break the rule, the charter. <laughs> I'll uh, also move. All right, and the second? May I have a second? We have a motion. May I have a second? I second. All right, I have a motion and a second to accept the resignation of Johnny Gray Nieto. Any citizen comments? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm Doug Jones, I'm the president of the Parks Foundation. And Johnny Ray, I'm only going to quote, oh, mom's maiden. She just made the day a sad day for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jones. All right, let's take a vote. All those in favor of accepting the resignation, please raise your right hand. Now. <laughs>